I'm just some idiot with a dream. On April 15th, 2015, I decided to find out what it would take to write a comic book. The reality, joy, and unforeseen pain of that decision shaped me and the next three years of my life. Two weeks in, I realized a graphic novel was impossible. In order to fairly pay an artist for services rendered, because I don't believe in exposure as payment, I had to scrap this idea and look for something more in my financial ballpark. I chose to do an audio drama because it was the most cost-controlled, at least I felt that way. However, this didn't solve any other problems like lack of experience, knowledge, or access to people who knew how to do these things, or also be able to help me. This didn't stop me, though. By June of that year, I'd selected an artist who began developing my characters and giving me splash pages to help me build my world. I also began bringing in people to voice my characters. But here I encountered another problem. Despite making it clear that this was an amateur job, I was faced with many people that expressed interest originally in my idea but then backed out or disappeared when it came time to sit down for the re first recording sessions in August 2015. It turns out, though, that those first two sessions were basically useless, as it turns out using a $20 mic out of your apartment didn't develop good sound and was generally a bad idea. So, I put the project on hold to look at purchasing better technology. And as April 2016 came, nearly a year later, I sat down again and started setting up sessions for recording. We got through about three episodes before the room we so, were so graciously granted became too hot to use in the summer. All in all, though, I think we did pretty good considering only two people of the eventual cast had any real natural talent for this. It all looked to be going great. Then in August 2016, as I was prepping the fall recording sessions, one of the voice talents and longtime friend, James Wheeler Walters, announced he had cancer. From then on, the project wasn't about an adventure and trying to see if I could do something. When James said he would continue the project for the fall schedule, I was glad, but I started to obsess over what I was supposed to do. You see, James is the only person I specifically asked to be part of this project. I wrote his character specifically for him. Every setback with my project became like a lead weight around my body. We got through about six of the ten episodes with James before the fall sessions were concluded for the holidays and to avoid cold and flu season. By February, James was losing his battle with cancer, and it had spread to his brain. My last conversation with him was him offering to go to the store and bring me food, as we had had terrible snowstorms and it had resulted in 57 inches of snow in one month. It made it hard to get to the store, and even in the midst of being as ill as he was, he thought of me. He passed away the day after we finished the last recording in April of 2017, two years to the day almost, that I had announced this idea. It was as if he held on to make sure I finished it. I didn't even play the audio of the last four sessions until November. I carried so much with me once he passed away. But I won't get into the personal histories or the battles I fought to get here. It doesn't matter. What does matter is that after three years, I finished it to the best of my ability. It may not be good, people may hate it, but it's here. After three long, difficult years, I'm ready to rest for a while.
First, though, I'd like to make a dedication. The obvious choice here is James, or so many of us called him when we were kids, Wheeler. Believe me, I thought about this long and many different ways. But how does one pick one special person? I have so many. So I wanted to dedicate this project to all of you friends who used to play X-Men with me at recess. Play with trading cards, read comics, sometimes when we weren't supposed to, and all of the times we fought over being Wolverine. So much so that someone always cheated and was morphed so they could also be Wolverine too. I dedicate this to all of you, RC, Laura, Laramie, John, Kelly, and last but never least, Wheeler. You get to be Wolverine from now on, my friend. Rest in peace, brother. And thank you all for helping a kid who struggled to make friends have some of the best memories of his life. I hope you'll enjoy listening.